All right, everybody, hello and welcome to my February 2023 book haul. Dane reads. So I have two books to show to you. The first one is the I, one I ordered a long time ago and it finally arrived in the post. This is a new three car, Anna and Froger. I don't know, what do you want to do? And this is just a very cute little children's book. Uh, it's written by a new three car who is a French author. I've read a lot of her stuff in the native French. This one is actually in English. And um, yeah, I'm just slowly, she's one of the people I'm slowly working my way through everything that she's ever written. I just really love her stuff. So I've got that, and then I picked up Les Elfes et les Purples Cachés uh, by, uh, published by Almena Bocafaglio. That's, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, okay, it's translated by Olaf Petersdotter. So it's written originally in Icelandic and has been translated into French. Um, and I picked this up during my trip to Iceland. This is The Elves and the Hidden People, 12 popular Icelandic tales, and I'm looking forward to reading this. Greetings, everybody. I just have the one book to show you that came in the post today. This is Anukrika, Anna and Frogger Out and About. Uh, this is the last of the English language Anna and Frogger ones, I think. Now, it's possible that I've read this one before. Um, in fact, it does look familiar. So I think the thing that I read was actually a bind up of all of them, but hey ho, I'm gonna read this anyway and uh, see whether it's one that I've read before or not. Excuse me, I got hiccups because I just ate. Hello, this is the best angle I can get because my tripod is currently broken. Um, but I got this in the post today, which is Two Besides A Pair Of Talking Heads by Alan Bennett. Um, I'd pretty much read, well I had, I'd read everything that Alan Bennett had released and then I discovered that he's released this recently, which is his two new talking heads uh, that he created during lockdown. So I'm excited to get that. And then I picked these two up from the book exchange at my local Morrison supermarket. I got The Ink Black Heart by Robert Galbraith, which is presumably strike book number five. I've actually currently got the audiobook of Lethal White on, and then I have Trolled Blood already, so I guess this follows them. Not particularly into them, to be honest, but hey-ho. And then I got the How Not To Die Cookbook by Michael Greger, MD. Um, so I'm gonna go through this and look at some recipes to try. Very excited. Alrighty, um, I have a whole shit ton of books that have arrived in various means and ways. Um, let's, I guess, start with these. So I got today, I got, uh, basically I've been doing Honey, which is that browser extension where you get rewards for, um, like, on, you get cash back basically, or points back from certain purchases. I've been doing that for 11 months. And I finally received enough for my first £10 Amazon voucher. So I put that towards Bay's End by Edward Lorne. Uh, Edward Lorne used to be E here on Booktube. Um, I don't know what the latest score is. He's basically, I think, retired the Edward Lorne name. As far as I can tell, all of his books have actually been removed from circulation. Um, but there are still used copies floating about, so that is what this is. Although it does look brand new. And, um, yeah, hopefully he's doing well. Um, and I bought this because my my other half, uh, Shay, she's read two Edward Lorne books now and she really enjoyed them both. She says he's one of her top three favourite authors. Uh, Matt Haig is another one. I don't know who the, who the third is. And yeah, I enjoyed Edward's stuff as well, so um, we're gonna we're gonna check this out together. I will say I cannot read the blurb on the back cover though. That could do with a little a little box around it, a tra semi transparent box. Um, but yes, I'm looking forward to reading Bay's End. Then we have uh, the Yellow Knight of Oz, which is book number 24 in the Wizard of Oz series. This is by Ruth Plumley Thompson, continuing the L. Frank Baum series. I'm just slowly plodding on with these. Uh, it's the main series I have underway now, now that I've finished Dune. Although I do have some Dune graphic novels that I need to get to. We have Marple, um, which is 12 stories um, about Miss Marple, 12 new stories about by various authors. We have Naomi Alderman, Lee Bardugo, Alyssa Cole, Lucy Foley, Ellie Griffiths, Natalie Haynes, Jean Kwok, Val McDermott, Karen McManus, oh, Karen M. McManus, Dreda Say Mitchell, Kate Moss, and Ruth Ware. So of those, I've read Alderman, McDermott, and Ware before, um, but I'm obviously aware of a lot of the others, and I love Miss Marple, she's my fave, so I'm hoping they do her justice. Um, we will see. I feel like they should have um, let Sophie Anna have a go at it since she's been doing the, the Poirots as well. All right, and the other two sets of books that I've got, we have just two job lots by two different authors. So the first of these, we have uh, Robert Llewellyn, who played Crichton in Red Dwarf, which is one of my favorite TV shows. I knew he'd got a book called The Man in the Rubber Mask, which is his like memoir, um, but I didn't know he wrote fiction as well. So we have uh, Sudden Wealth, Punchbag, 
and Brother Nature. So I'm looking forward to reading these, and if they are good, I shall certainly be reading some more of Robert Llewellyn's stuff. Um, I also, he's notable to me, I actually kind of had a chance to meet him, but I was too shy, but I was at an electric vehicles event in London about 12 years ago now. It was back when the Nissan Leaf was being announced, and he was there, and I was too shy to say hello. Anyway, then I got a job lot of David Attenborough books as well because he's also one of the authors I want to read everything by. So we have Life in Cold Blood, Life in the Undergrowth, The Private Life of Plants, and The Life of Birds. Now I can tell from touching these, uh, these were a victim of my lemonade spillage I believe because the front of these is a little bit sticky. Um, but yes, as you can see, they are all chonkers, all hardbacks. When the postman delivered these, he said it feels like there's a brick in there. And I knew exactly what it was from that description. So I paid about £16, I think, for those. Which isn't too bad, because, you know, I, I want to read them. So... Those are all of the books that I got in the month of February 2023. As always, don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.